but another thing that's playing out and we need to address it we we took up this discussion yesterday is in the rubber industry there is a massive short supply of rubber in the industry which is hitting production of tire makers there's a big demand supply gap in the rubber industry right now uh, the association of tire manufacturers uh, you know told this to us yesterday and it's really hurting demand uh, hurting production while demand is good how does this impact the manufacturers we have kumar subaya the chief financial officer at siat who joins us now uh, mr subaya good morning and thanks for joining us uh, you know it's really been challenging for the industry on the whole lot of supply side pressures and now we see this 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 rubber short supply that's hitting the market you tell us the situation on the ground how bad is it and if you can give us some numbers on how it's really hitting production for you and for the industry uh, uh good morning sonia uh, thanks again for having me on your show uh, uh you you know well you know approximately about uh, uh, 60% of india's requirement is locally sourced okay and uh, the short supply is mostly uh, in the local not really in the uh, in the international uh, uh, markets so uh, off late in the last uh, couple of weeks or so availability of natural rubber uh, from the local uh, sources uh, been a, a little difficult okay one of the reasons could be because of heavy rains in kerala okay and and, and therefore uh tapping uh was little lower and and then therefore the amount of rubber that was coming to the market was lower and second also uh the stocks that uh, traders have uh is also on the lower side so uh, and it has happened all of a sudden so therefore uh from the supply chain and also on planning point of view okay uh, sheet rubber that we ro- locally source uh has been a challenge for the industry okay so Uh, approximately about you know uh, half of it or little more than half of it is what is uh, sourced locally uh, overall at the co- industry level or overall at the country level i think that's where we have the challenge uh, and uh, we hope there was a meeting with the uh, rubber board uh, yesterday uh, to find out how to ease up the situation so we we hope you know things would improve in the coming weeks in terms of availability of local rubber mm. uh you know the association we spoke with uh, mrs supaya good morning prashant here was uh, they were not so optimistic they said the only solution is imports uh because uh, you know and a, a bulk of this uh, the rubber the natural rubber uh, comes from kerala uh, where the situation is improving that was the feedback they gave they said i mean uh, annually about uh, uh, th- this year in f522 their estimate is that uh, they'll fall short by about uh, in terms of the annual consumption they'll fall short industry will fall short by about 40 30 40% which is which is what needs to be imported your thoughts uh, you know it's more, uh, uh, as of now it's a short term uh, problem okay uh, uh, while you have spoken to maybe a, a association as of now availability is a challenge uh, it's not our understanding that there will be a shortage of 30 40% of the annual requirement but at this point in time uh there is a gap of to the extent of the number that you indicated in the short term okay and uh, we continue to uh, import rubber but it has uh, lead times uh, and in the current situation where it takes you know a little longer uh, for vessels to come from uh, south east asian mar- markets so okay, this needs to be planned so from that point of view uh, but uh, that is not our understanding 30 to 40% shortfall is not in, on an annualized basis is more here and there and uh, uh, we really hope you know as of now it is not affecting our uh, production because there is always an inventory in the pipeline but if the corrective action is not taken in terms of local uh, markets making available adequate quantities of rubber mm. i think uh, uh, option is always to import uh, uh, natural rubber and uh, if there is a way government could facilitate uh, in terms of you know concession on the import duty as well because today rubber is about 27.5% kind of uh, duty mm. i think it will really help uh, so you know the other aspect is what's happening with rubber prices right and the association is telling us that because of unseasonal rains has been a big spike in prices i mean i was checking the rate rubber is now at a four month high almost at what 185 rupees a kilo um what impact will that have on your margins which in any case have been under pressure for the last two three quarters do you think it could get worse in the second half and if yes what i mean what is the ballpark range you're looking at 
See, uh, natural rubber prices, local prices uh, have been around 180 rupees per kg for last three to four weeks. Okay, and uh, uh, it moved up from 170 rupees per kg to 180 rupees per kg, uh, largely on account of supply demand gap in the local market. International prices uh, also moved up. Uh, it will have impact on the margins. Uh, if you really see uh, uh, overall tire industry since uh, October last year, markets have not been volatile. Markets have been moving in one direction, which is going up and up. So therefore, it, it will have some impact. As far as the current quarter goes, uh, last month when we had interaction with you, we indicated that the raw material cost would go up by, we expect it to go up by anywhere between 4 and 5% uh, in the current quarter versus the previous quarter. We, we stand by that in terms of our estimate as far as the current quarter is concerned. Uh, we strongly believe the, that the rubber prices will come down uh, uh, in, in, in a short while. And uh, I don't think it's a sustainable number, uh, 180 or 185. I, I don't, 185 rupees per kg, there are, I don't think there are uh, buyers in the market to buy except some small quantities. So, so the prices will have to come down closer to you know, import parity levels uh, soon. And we, we hope it to happen. You know, uh, when you have unseasonal rains, when it impacts the supply chain, there will always be a short-term blip. But, uh, I don't think we would we wouldn't like to take that uh, as a price indication for the coming quarter. Mm. Uh, how is how is end demand though uh, shaping up? Uh, you know, from OEMs replacement market. Uh, just give us a sense. Uh, okay, now uh, the market continues to be you know similar to the previous quarter level as far as the replacement market is concerned. Uh, di different categories are performing differently. And uh, we've been observing some weakness in the truck and bus tires, uh, farm tires, uh, which we shared it earlier also in our interactions with you. That continues. And uh, uh, a little bit of uh, weakness is there in uh, two-wheeler tires. From OEM side, there has been some weakness, uh, particularly in the two-wheelers. Uh, and passenger cars on account of uh, uh, shortage in uh, chips. Uh, these two continue in the current quarter. No major change versus the previous quarter. Uh, uh, more or less stable, uh, say, uh, it's very similar to quarter two. Okay, just one final question because, you know, it's the burning topic currently, this new COVID variant across Asia and COVID completely ravaging Europe. Uh, I wanted to know what is the impact it could have on the industry? I mean, SEAT, for example, has about 20% of your revenues that comes from the export market. Uh, any hit that you're expecting there? No, uh, in general, you know, it, uh, if anything happens in any parts of the world, uh, obviously there's always an impact. Okay, and... Uh, one of the uh, issues that we are facing in, in the export uh, segment is the availability of you know containers, vessels, steep increase in the uh, ocean freights. Uh, that continues. We saw some softness recently, a very small uh, softness. Uh, one and number two, uh, which means you know the vessels movement, uh, container availability uh, would still be a challenge. Uh, as far as Europe is concerned, our exposure to uh, Europe is limited. Uh, so, therefore, uh, unless it spreads to across the world, uh, in general, post-COVID, uh, we saw a positive uh, response from the international market in terms of the demand from Indian uh, tires actually moved up during the post first phase period. So, uh, as of now, we don't expect it to have any significant impact, but we'll have to assess, understand, and see if this continues in Europe, uh, the impact of it. Um, but we don't see significant impact on account of that in the immediate future. Okay. All right. We will leave it at that. Uh, Mr. Subaya, thank you for stopping by and explaining the situation. It looks like a grim situation, but uh, you've been through many such and hopefully you will come out stronger. That's the word coming in from SIAD. There is a big rubber supply crunch in the industry and that perhaps could hit margins more because rubber prices have shot up on the back of this uh, supply crunch. But a quick